All right, guys. Good morning. How's everybody doing? We're back with some more Ghostwire Tokyo. Now, um, I've been having a blast with this game. It's uh, it's been quite interesting. It, it, it's I wouldn't really classify it as like a super super horror game. It definitely has some creepy, scary elements to it. Um, but it's not like full fledged horror. You're you're badass enough to where you feel like you could easily defend yourself against most things that the game throws at you. So it's it's been a good time, guys. It's been a good time. Uh, but again, I appreciate everybody in chat for coming and hanging out. I'm glad to get back into this. Sorry for the later start, guys. My game just would not go full screen for whatever reason. Um, but I kept messing with it. So um. At the end of last episode, big pillar of darkness tornado shot up in the middle of the city. They completed the ritual, has something to do with our sister, and now we're trying to make our way over to stop it, I believe, or figure out what the hell's going on. And um, yeah, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. So we got a phone call here. Let's uh, see what the hell's going on with this. I know we were talking about linking up with Edward outside of the safe zone. Genji's making progress with the ritual. Where is this Rinko? Luckily, the power from that key for that you got there ought to help you find some more toady gates. Just keep moving. Oh, and KK? About Erika. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I'm used to getting my hands dirty. I should have made up my mind sooner back then. Before it was too late. We can still turn this around. It's not over yet. We're a team now. The three of us. Akito is right. This fight is just getting started. Yeah. Thanks. Alright, it's go time. Callie, good morning. Hudson, good morning. Holy shit, Hudson coming in, dropping the 20 gifted, brother. Seriously, man. How are you doing today, first of all, Hudson? You know, you got to come in and just, dude, always showing crazy, crazy amounts of love, dude. I, I really can't explain to you how much that means. Thank you. I, ho I hope everybody uh, is having a good morning. Everybody received one of those memberships today. Make sure you get those hearts in the chat. Uh, Hudson's out here always showing that love. Caspi, what's up, brother? I hope everything's going good, man. It's good to see you. Again, I appreciate all of you guys coming and hanging out this morning. I know it's a bit of an early one. Raul, what's going on, brother? How you doing? <clears throat> so I know it's a bit of an early one. All right, so let's... Let's do this, partner. Yeah. What's up, puppy? Yeah, we can, we can feel you. Go. This dog seemed terrified, didn't it? You don't be grateful. Don't even say anything, chat. Oh, he was terrified because you were fucking standing next to him. Like, I already see it. I already, I already, I know your body, chat. I know what you're gonna say. It's pretty good having you around. Why? Let's just say I never knew anyone as honest as you when I was alive. Uh-huh. I guess I get it. All right, so let's go ahead and check our... Yeah, we can start by looking at the map. Okay, so we got to hit Tory Gates hard um, in order to clear up... Oh, wow. There's a lot of Tory Gates available. What the heck? Jesus Christmas. Hudzo, moose are huge animals, dude. Huge animals. Oh my gosh, Chad, it's still going. Okay, so, so can I just skip it? Yeah, okay, cool. I'm like, dude, do I really gotta sit here and watch this thing? Oh. Uh, let's see, so... The map is actually way bigger than I, uh initially thought especially with all these damn Tory gates so we got three up here but the, our main mission is over here so we got to kind of clear our way this way we could start by taking out this Tory gate because that'll push the 
the fog back, and even this one would push back up this whole northern region. So let's start off with this one here. I think this will be my best bet, and then we'll work our way down to this one. Just kind of actually see what this quest hey, is too. You can't take my chance. Please, my son needs help. Puzzle. That's thirteen hundred pounds of meat. That's crazy. And Arita, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the fam. It looks like the dog pooped out some money. <laughs> well, I'm not KK, but, uh... Yeah, I'm KK. Robert, how you doing? You seem to know me. Just can't remember meeting you. Ha! Huh. That's because my son was always talking about you. He was in a club in middle school. They researched paranormal events in Tokyo. The way he spoke about you. You were some kind of hero to them. Gotta say, that sounds like a strange after-school activity. I thought they were just playing around. But then the club vanished, including my son. It was so sudden, nobody knows what happened. Kids might have looked into something dangerous. But you're KK! You could have. I'm begging you. He's dead, dude. They say you're the best. Think you can solve any mystery. I wouldn't go that far. And I'm not exactly in peak condition. Doubt I can help much. Come on, KK. We have to try. The man lost his son. Ah, <sighs> okay, okay. My son said his club was using an empty classroom. Please, just look. He's definitely dead, Chet. We, we know for a fact that the kids dabbled into something that they weren't supposed to be dabbling in. Um, and definitely got killed. Okay, so where's the school? Yeah, this one. I didn't see it on the map. Where the hell is it? Dude, we're here. Oh, okay. So the school's up in this area. I'm like, dude, I, I don't see the damn school. So actually, if we want to get up to that school, we got to start clearing these Tory gates. Too easy. Watch it. The like battling against a tremor, dude. That is not what I expected to, to, you know, come into the alley to. Not even a little bit. But we dealt with it. It's all good. <clears throat> I'm 
some sugar. Now, let me make sure. I think I have my uh, flame beads on, right? Yep, we're rocking the flame beads and the gust beads right now. Uh, I, th I think they call those ladies in red is the ghost. Mm, what's 100 get us? Go for the Jizo statues. Let's hope for the best. Okay, so that was one down. It freed up another one here that we can hit. Got him. Lizard toy. Yeah, so today's going to be a busy day, chat. We got a lot of stuff that we're going to be trying to play and do. There it is. Good. Now to help more. All right, so we can extract these souls real quick that we have. Send them out. Oh, we just got to find a pay phone. I played all of the Metro games. Yeah, I did. Uh, we played them all on the channel already. We got full Don't series. Hitting them. Keep up the good work. Absolutely love those games. I mean, I, I really, really love Metro Exodus. Like Exodus, I believe, was just on a whole nother level than the first two games. The first two games were pretty good still, but Metro Exodus was just top, top tier. All right, we're going to store up these souls real quick.
this. You're on the second one right now. Oh, dude. Yeah, wait till you play Exodus. Man, it is on a whole nother level. Get them. Uh, what VR set do I have? I have uh, the um, Oculus or Meta Quest 3, I think it is. Yeah, we got that one. We were doing a decent bit of VR, but I just trying now to get my schedule back normal. So that's why you guys see me starting pretty early today. We're trying to really April. I want to be a month where we go super ham. You know what I mean? Try to get back to how things were. Archery beads. <laughs> Go try these hand moves. Yeah, all right. <laughs> that would be pretty broken in stage of okay? Could you imagine being able to just fucking throw a big fireball at the zombies? It'd be broken. Um, I seen something about that, Kelly, that I knew. The new Metro and VR. I gotta, I wouldn't mind like, actually checking it out, seeing what it's about. Going ham, chat, trying to get all the spirits we can. Another Tory gate here. Okay, so we're gonna have to... Okay, we can break this. For some reason I thought it was corruption. My mind just went... So this story gate is on the roof. Yep, on the roof. Let's see if we can find one of those flyer dudes. <sighs> yeah, there really isn't any around. That's crazy. Oh, I do have one of those. I always forget about these damn talismans, guys. I'm so bad. There we go. Yeah, they have talismans that allow you to gain elevation.
pop the core there because I got nervous. That was a waste, though. Spirit well talisman will create a, a regenerating pool that replenishes your ether as long as you're standing in it. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Don't remember a school being there. Is that my school that I got to make it to? Yep. Okay. So that's our tar our target actually. Vlad, hi, or Val, how you doing? That was a whole horde, dude. It's the school. Now what? Go in. You have any better ideas? Like a legit horde, man. Share on your end. I'm still traveling the city gathering info. I'll reach out when I find something. Damn, we got a lot of XP from that. Um, how many skill points did I actually get? Because I think I got yeah, we got 25. Hmm. So this makes wired in longer. I wish we could build wired in faster. Oh, this allows you to summon one of them. That's sick. Let me see, so could also what is this charge attack speed? Oh, that's nice. That's super fast. That'll make our our, our weaves wicked, wicked fast. Yeah, I use the, the the charge attacks a lot. They're very, very nice. So being able to do them faster is just ideal. See if we can get in from those doors. Locked. Of course, it's locked. Maybe there's another way inside. Let's check the yard out back. Check the yard out back? Chat, are we about to stomp the yard? Nobody in chat probably knows anything about that. Okay. Something's definitely got juice here. No, you don't, and no what? what the? Calm down. Just a noise. 
Nobody in chat knows about Stomp the Yard. <laughs> Dog, no. Yeah, I had nothing to do with it, guys. Don't even... Yeah, the dance movie, Casper. What's this? Massive corruption. Gotta cleanse this corruption. Must be a core somewhere. Damn. The kids at the school did this? Get rid of them. Inside too. What'd you expect? School's gonna have students. <sighs> that was some crazy amount of corruption here, dude. Preferred you got served? If you proceed uh, from here, you will temporarily be unable to go back outside until you complete. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, why the hell would I want to leave the school? First, we find the club room. What are they going to be throwing hordes of school kid ghosts at us? Because, uh, I mean, I'm not too. the power nice got another level water elemental charge what the hell is this you are now able to use a water elemental charge rush this attack will use your water ether to create a field of freezing cold and a radius around you enemies within the field will take damage and prolonged exposure will freeze them 
Hold left until the charge is complete, then Q to activate. Now we can use this to freeze those things in their tracks. So, what... Oh, I gotta charge up this. Thing. Tracking, okay. I see. That's sick. Must be the club room. Let's look around. KK's investigation notes. Damn. These kids are really doing it, chat. Look, you're famous. <sighs> At this rate, I'll have to change my name again. Searching inside a school. Unique interior map. Available while exploring the school. The four seals we need are supposed to be hidden somewhere around the school. If we can just find those seals, we'll be able to complete the spell. That means it's time for Paranormal Investigation Club to join forces. A spell? It's one of those school legends. But the way things went, this damn sure wasn't a simple charm. Hanako-san, a classic school legend. Looks like we've got an assistant. Check out that locker. What do you mean an assistant? If I, if I seen that, I would not Take care of this situation. I'm just going to write down everything about the seals that our investigation turned up. First, in the order, in order to seal Hanako-san away, we need to use the proper spell seals from her totems. There are four seals, apparently hidden in the first year classroom, second year classroom, library, and media room. The totems are on the roof of the school. We failed, but someone else, maybe even KK finds us, they might be able to take... Uh, okay, so we got to finish their spell. Seems like they were waiting for you. Yeah, waiting to push another job on me. Okay, let's start with the first year classrooms. Okay, so first year classrooms is two, three, and four, two, three, four, and five, which are all on this floor. Hudson, again, I appreciate the love, brother. Hey, you have a great day, man, all right? Two 
dark. Use your flashlight. I got a fucking flashlight? Since when, dude? What, what the fucking flashlight? Bro, talking all this shit. What? We ain't. Have we had a flashlight chat? What? The, is it X? Okay, we do have a flashlight. Not what we need. Not a seal. Another shadow. Something over there? Must be this. Okay, let's head up to the second year classrooms. So I don't get down with the point in shadows. Like, I, I don't know, like, you know, it's not really my thing. Like, that right there really isn't my thing either. Like, everybody has their own, like, thing, and that's just not mine. People mess with the paranormal. Isn't that what your team was doing? Sure, but that was to protect Tokyo. Not that we did the best job. me in with a death lots of those things here maybe some kind of lingering grudge need to go talk to nelson all right yeah i'll go talk to him hold on one sec chat be right back
smaller job and then it Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, sorry about that, chat. Like I said, I got people working on the office, and uh, it's just like one problem after another, man. They freaking, um, they opened up the wall to because we were putting sheetrock up because they had like old wood paneling and stuff, and they took the, the wood paneling off, and, you know, they're, the whole wood like below my window was completely rotted out. It was just gone. Um, and it was all wet and soggy and stuff. And we didn't know why is because whoever installed the windows back when they put the windows in the house, they didn't do the aluminum on the outside or seal it properly. So water was just leaking into the house, um, underneath the window, rotted out all the wood on the whole side of my house. I didn't even realize, but the whole side of my house was literally just like, cause it, when wood soaks long enough, it just turns into like mush and it was just all gone. They had to, they now have to replace the whole beam on the front of my house, uh, on where the office is. Uh, they have to replace all the wood because he just pulled off the siding and there's fucking termites everywhere. Just it's just soggy wood. There's bugs and termites. So now they gotta go. They gotta pull all that wood out, which it's not it's not too much crazier than what they thought they were gonna do, but um it's just it's just one thing after another chat just one thing after another and i'm like fucking termites dude like what <laughs> yeah so now they got to change out the whole fucking pretty much the whole front of my house is getting ripped off and put back on on the one side and i'm like oh my god this was just supposed to be pulling what literally the job was supposed to be pulling wood paneling and the drop ceiling off my house or the room, the office, and putting sheetrock and a couple lights, guys. That was it. And then putting down the floor. And it turned into them fully gutting the whole room. They had to pull everything out. They had to raise the ceiling, pull everything out, fix the ceiling because the ceiling was collapsing. And uh, now the whole front of the house, it's just like, dude, it's a quick way to just, uh, it's at, how much is it all going to cost? It's dude. It was supposed the job literally was supposed to be three thousand dollars for the whole remodel of the office. And man, with this whole termite, so it's probably going to be eight nine grand. Yeah, absolutely was not even in the cards. You know what I mean? But that's just that's just life. You know, especially with these older houses, you fucking you open up a wall and it's just problems. You know what I mean? But. Yeah, yeah, it sucks, dude. It is what it is. Yeah, it's it's a bag of worms, chat. You know what I mean? You fucking you open up a bag of worms trying to solve a, you know, I don't know. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. What? Let's kill ghosts. You don't have any regrets from middle school. Point taken. Oh, for sure, Callie. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather have found out now, you know what I mean, than fucking sit here and wait and, like you said, yeah, have half my damn house eaten before before we even know what the hell's going on. So there's another ceiling here. in here, wasn't he?
That's so fucking creepy, bro. Oh, this? There's a seal on that desk. Still need to check the library and the media room. Probably in the other wing. students could be keep playing along where is she tell me where where could she be didn't think that far ahead huh you lie enough What? That teacher had that kind of juice and was able to just kill me like that? What the hell kind of curse are we dealing with? Man, is your brother with the super chat, man. I wish you a great week. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. And Nanjo, thank you so much for the super chat. We're sick of you. Move out. <laughs> yeah, right. No eat in my fucking house, dude. Still need to check the library and the media room. Probably in the other wing. Whatever I, this is, chat has some fucking power, move. man. Answer me. Do you? Correct now. And when something. Core. Phew. Good work. Final. Do you? No need to lie. Must be one of the missing. Could be. Hmm. Something tells me you're not lying. You really don't know. I'll. I'll help you look for her. I will trust you. <sighs> Sometimes it's better to be honest. Okay, found another one. Time to move. Okay, so we go down this hall, library's on the back side here. What was that? Just the sight of it sent waves of pain through my body. I felt it too. There's something truly terrible at work here. Stay sharp. this corruption to get through. Oh, 
All right. We can get through now. Oh. Mm. Mm. <sighs> I ain't even gonna lie to you, Chet. That shit sent chills up my motherfucking spine. What the fuck was that? That was not it. Close the door. It's following us, right? Here's the library. Where do we start? I don't, I don't get down with this shit yet. Like, I... Shadows pointing the way. Let's take a look. I'm running out of fucking ammo. Oh, fuck with this chat. Go away, dude.
The media room's on the fourth floor. seal around here. Where is it? What the fuck is it? is the seal too are we in the right room yeah we're in the right room We gotta like maybe turn the projector on or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, there we go. Hey, check out the screen. No, fuck that, dude. that Tim with the super chat brother thank you so much it just wants to be free yeah I fucked that I don't want to be friends with it dude I don't want nothing to do with this it must be the seal that's all four. Let's get to the roof. Time to seal Hanako-san away. Whatever this Hanako-san is, she's got juice. Big time juice, guys.
Is that thing done haunting us? I think we might be in the clear. Must be where the disturbances are from. Let's seal it. She's, uh, quite a bit bigger than I expected. Hey, no time to stare. the next one. to go.
sure that was the last one. Now let's get it sealed. Keep an eye out until the seal is stable. That was a hell of a side quest, Chip. No sign of that kid anywhere around here. When he shows, gotta give him a talking to, or his dad. Yeah. KK, is your family okay? Yeah. They're outside Tokyo right now. So you caught them out? They must be waiting for you. Nah. As far as they know, I'm dead. And it's just better if I stay away. Not gonna see them? There's no need. If I can stop him, I protect my family and the whole city. We'll save your sister, too. Isn't that enough? I think... It's not right... to keep everything from them. Sure you're not talking about yourself? You've got something you want to tell your sister, right? You knew? Lucky guess. Hey. Seal's almost done. Huh? Let's get back. Hmm. There it is. That was probably the uh, creepiest How thing we've seen. How much you want to bet that's our missing kid? Wow, you sealed her away. Are you the KK? Huh. I always thought you'd be older. You're gonna hurt the real KK's feelings. That voice was the real KK. Were you the one that showed us the way? Which would mean you were the ones who did this to the school in the first place. Yeah. The school still doesn't seem back to normal. Something else is going on. The rift that led to Hanako-san's world is still in the school. Come down to the courtroom. I'll tell you the whole story. Is that I wanted to be done with this fucking school, dude? It's fucking him. K. 
Keith with the re-up on the membership. How are you doing? Thank you so much. Well, the school's still haunted as fuck. Well, did we even do anything? Stairwell, don't I? monitor now check the thing upstairs I ain't checking that thing upstairs no no see chat listen that that's the difference between me and like like horror movies for me wouldn't even happen because if I see some creepy shit, I'm not one to be like, oh, I wonder what that is. And then like start making my way to it and like pulling the sheet off to reveal what's under the sheet. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going near. I'm not pulling the sheet off. I'm not. I'm just leaving the building. Like, you know, you'll see something covered and then like the, the, the movie person like slowly makes her way towards it. And it's like that, that, that moment they're like reaching for it and they're like grabbing the fucking, and then they like snatch it off. And then it's, that wouldn't even happen for me because I'm not even going near it to pull the car. I don't care enough. I'm just leaving. I wouldn't even have been in this school to begin with. See with the side mission. If you're the mall, you'll be temporarily unable to go back outside. <laughs> what else is new, dude? So, will you tell us what happened? We were trying to perform a spell. Kids at school had been talking about it. Rumor was that it was only supposed to grant our wishes. But we were wrong. It was a ritual to summon Hanako-san. Happens a lot. Messing with the supernatural doesn't go the way you want. Better to keep away from that stuff. What happened after that? One of our club members, Miyoko Sawai, got possessed by Hanako-san. After that, Hanako-san started appearing around school in her body. We tried to seal her away, but we failed. I can still move around as a shadow, but the others... And that's why you don't mess with these things. Okay, Kay. We gotta do something about Hanako-san first. Okay, okay. Not like I'm really mad at these kids. Anything else you could tell us about Hanako-san? She usually stays inside mirrors. Maybe you should look at those. The club room should have notes about the mirrors she was in. Oh, I don't want to do none of that. A student who went missing in homeroom wing three restroom the other night apparently before they he entered the witnesses saw a strange colored light coming from one of the mirrors in there so third floor homeroom wing dude oh how you doing hey oh uh, we got we got um i don't have it on me crystal it's in the truck right now with crystal uh we got the Carter's letter, though, man, and uh, dude, the cards, the letter, the the little comic he drew, dude, it was, 
had Crystal crying, literally bawling her eyes out. It was so sweet. Uh, but we're putting something really, really nice for them uh, together. So uh, we'll, it should definitely be be out to you. She she also wants to add something to it herself. But uh, we, we really wanted to thank you guys. I'm going to show it. Uh, I, I wish I had it on me right now because I would show it on stream. Um, but I'll, I'll do it to let, let Carter know I'm going to do it on the next Sons of the Forest stream. I'm going to give him a big shout out and show everything he sent me. And um, again, tell him thank you so much. That it means the world to us. All right, I got you, brother. Thank you so much again. Oh, that was awesome. It really was. This principal been sneaking naps in the principal office. I think there was a mirror in the principal's office too. Oh, Jesus, okay. So we third floor restroom and the principal's office. Third floor restrooms are upstairs. Let's check it out. I don't. See the chat. This is why I can never be a ghost hunter like this. Like, uh, you seem upset. Yeah, these kids were copying me. And look what happened. It's all because of the job that I do. Like I said, better for everyone to stay away from me. At least they'll be safe. Okay, okay. A male or female restroom? Okay, tell us what the fuck happened, dude. I'm not opening those. A mirror world? Hanako-san might be in here. Just looking at her is enough to knock you unconscious. She's still wandering around out there. What are we gonna do? Do we need to try to get? Oh, Jesus Christ! She's got Conqueror's hockey chat. <laughs> you can't even fucking look at her, dude. God damn. She's really got the fucking juice, dude. <laughs> How is she so strong? Yo, I would... Yo, I would put her... She's like... On the level of the nightmare and banishers, dude, she's got some juice.
feel her power just radiating. Yo, fuck, dude. We made it back. Gotta look for another mirror. You can usually get to the principal's office through the staff room. Okay, yeah, it's over here. Ten. So we gotta go across that hallway. Why they fucking playing with us, dude? Hold on one sec, guys. Hold on one sec, guys. Give me one sec. Sorry. Give me one second.
Uh, whoa, there goes my microphone. All right, sorry guys. I had to go talk to the. I had to go talk to the guy about the the house real quick. <clears throat> Oh no, chat. That shit is wiggling. Nurse's office. So principal's office is 11, which is over here. We said we can get to that from the staff room. So this is where the principal got snatched up taking a nap, or the vice principal did. Now we gotta go back into Hanako's mirror realm. Oh god. That mirror's glowing. Let's check it out. Gunny. Hey. Man, I'm glad I can help you out, dude. Seriously, I'm glad I can help you out, man. Mm, this doesn't look that bad. All right, this doesn't look that good.
again. Should be in here, too. I'm not, dude. Where the fuck is she? <laughs> oh, she's down there, dude. She, oh, she's got fucking all the hockey chat. Open my fucking mouth, chat. Like, like, say, I'm so mad right now. I literally just said in the beginning of the stream, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, it's classified as a horror game, but it's really not even all that. Shut the fuck up, dude. I just had to say some stupid shit, dude. Always gotta open my goddamn mouth. Don't be in here and be scary, dude, please. This ghost is so strong. <sighs> Guys, she's so strong. I can't even look at her. You think this is DLC release afterwards? Really? Well, good thing the whole game wasn't like this, because I would not have played it. Not because I'm scared, just because, you know, it's just not really my thing. has three release DLCs. Game Looks like we're back. Game two horror. 
three floor hundred levels. Floor one hundred. Yeah. I didn't even know the game had DLC. I just thought this was a side quest. I'm like, yo, this is a hell of a side quest, dude. Hey, something what? might be in the hallway. The f is that? Those tracks? Yeah. So that's what we were sensing. Let's follow. KK, are you still thinking about earlier? Right now, all I'm thinking is how to get out of this situation. Promise that kid's dad I'd help his son. It's funny. You actually seem to like helping kids. Never done this because I like it. But I can imagine how their parents feel. I mean, this better be the horror DLC. It better not. Because if it's not, I couldn't imagine what the fucking. No, nah, dude. If this ain't the horror DLC, I don't want to. Blocked. Maybe we should cut through that classroom. I don't want to play the whole one. Tried to jump and it wouldn't jump or must have been hung up on a terrain or something. Akito, that mirror. Did it escape into this? One way to find out. Let's follow it. This game let you turn off motion blur? Yeah, I, I mean, I believe I turned mine pretty much off, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, I turned the motion blur quality up to cinematic. Don't just walk the streets. Hit the rooftops from time to time. You never know. You just might run into something unexpected. Spirits, yokai, you name it. Who just so carries around we'll cucumbers? Stock up on arrows. 
stock up on talismans. These talismans make ether. Can't hurt to carry some. They've got some unusual stuff here. Expose your talismans to make it easier to expose cores. Okay, nice. Cast me. Hey, I appreciate you, brother. That's her. Right. First, we're gonna have to subdue her. Can't pull her off the victim until we do that. All right, Akito. Let's show them what we do best. Yeah. Finally over. Akito, we've got to purge her.
Well, that was some serious work for cleaning up after some kids. I'll say. But Hanako-san won't come back, right? Sure hope not. That was ridiculous. Is everything okay now? Yeah. Sorry about what happened. I guess now is not the right time for a lecture. You're safe now, kid. Hurry and get back to your dad. Don't make him worry anymore. Thanks again for everything. I knew I should have told him to stop when they had the chance. And none of this would have ever happened. I'm sorry. Eh, don't worry about it. I'm also to blame. The least I could do was help. Hanako-san just wanted to be free, too. I could feel that after she possessed me. So, thank you for saving her, too. Hmm. I guess that's good, then. I think I get why you were keeping away from your family. Good. Then I don't have to explain. But if you weren't here, nobody would have saved those kids. So... you're not fighting for nothing. Huh. <laughs> Great. Basically a chicken and egg problem. Always a cynic. Just how I'm built. That was a really awesome mission though, for real, guys. I could verify directly, but as you know, I'm otherwise engaged. Whoever this is, keep up the good work saving spirits. All right, let's check our... Yeah, we got tons of skill points. So that actually is pretty useful. Making the cores be exposed for longer. So we get this synergy at level 23, whatever that is. There it is. Uh, Jazz Madison, thank you so much for the re-up on the membership. How are you doing today? I feel a presence. Me too. Let's look at that pool. So that mission went well, in my opinion. Got it cleared out. Um... So I'll take out all these these unique um, icons here for the side quest are the DLC ones. All right, we got to start working our way up here. So let's head over and clear this. And then Tim dropping the five gifted, man. Appreciate the love, brother. Always, dude. 
Hey, watch it. That's a mega health, dude. That was crazy. Let's get this shrine cleansed. That should clear the fog. And on we go. Incognito beads. Let's see what those do real quick. Makes it uh, take longer for enemies to detect you. Nah, that's all good. So that one pushed back pretty far. I will go hit. Yeah, that one should be good. After the end story is pre-end. Good ending. So should you play that before you beat the game? Talisman's child's freaking powerful. Beat before, got it. And stay down. Toy gates up top. I need to find a store actually. And buy some more. Uh, the air talismans. I think You're this one just sells food. I don't. Nope. Um, updraft. Here we go. You get me anything nice? No, you don't need anything.
We can get up here without using an updraft. It's not a huge deal, but every time you use one of them damn talismans, it's uh like 2,000. Even a little. Time, baby. Dragon Dogma 2, torn whether to buy it. It's so. That giant seems to be guarding the tower. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, yeah, you see that? So that's what we're going after, guys. So the thing with Dragon Dogma 2, right, is the game is phenomenal. I think it's awesome. Um, I would definitely say it's better than the first one, but also I would say. It's, in my opinion, not the combat, I feel, could be more modern. Um, I feel like the combat, and it, it, at least the, the, the mage combat and the range, any of the range combat seems kind of lackluster. The melee is amazing, uh, but the range combat in the game seems a bit dated. It does. It seems it, it, the combat is very. It, it's like it pretty much is the game, first game. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like it's like oh man, this is like a, a, a sequel. It's like no, this literally feels like the first game's combat with better graphics. Seeing people using the Magic Archer class makes the game look easy. Yeah, it's just the way the targeting and stuff works in the game. It's just very, very strange. Like when you're playing a range class, like the, it, I don't know, it just feels really, really bad. Um, because it's like an auto lock aim thing. And like you can like steady aim, um, but it's just very unreliable. It's, well, it feels dated. But there's a lot of things about Dragon Ball 2 that are absolute fire, you know, like, um, I, I, I feel like the story in that one is better um, than the first game. Obviously, the graphics are better. 
the map is huge. And they did modernize some of the features in it, but... Good. Uh, On in the net. It does feel very, very similar. Like, the UI, a lot of things about the game kind of feel like... Just a dressed up version of the original, which is not a necessarily a bad thing, you know what I mean? It's not like the like it being like the original is, is bad. I I think that the parts that make it kind of bad is it, it some of the features that they left from the original make the game feel old. You know what I mean? At least that's how I see it. Um some of the stuff that they kept just make the game feel dated in my opinion but my the main issue i had ever since day one with the game was the the wonky camera um because there's no lock on like true lock on like when you're using melee um and the camera does this weird thing where you get like pushed up and shit swings around and it's really really funky And then the range combat just seems kind of lackluster. Huh. We're getting closer. Hmm. Let me see here. We'll just have to keep this up. Okay, so we unlocked the area where the main mission is now. We can come down here and hit this Tory gate. We should be good. Yeah, Sheldon, that's one of the hardest things for game studios, man, is, you know, it, it's it's a, it's kind of a lose-lose, you know. If they keep too many, or if they change the game too much, everybody who loved the original is going to hate that one. They're, they're going to be like, oh, my God, why did you guys change? Like, if it's not broke, don't fix it. You know what I mean? And then it's like, then they lose all their super, super hardcore viewers. You know what I mean? Um, but then it's like, like I, the things I love about it is like the uh, the exploration, the, the 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 no hand holding. That's the thing I like about Dragon Dogma. Is like you really got to go out, explore, you know, do things like that. And that that really, really makes the game feel good. And I feel like that's what's unique. The story is amazing. The lore, the whole pawn situation, having your team and kit out your pawns like that's a really really good system um so but then it's it's like i also feel like they they wanted to keep the game so much like the first one that it literally just looks like a prettier version of the first one that like there's no real innovation i feel like in it other than it's the graphics are a little bit better um but like in the combat system i think that's where the games at least for me right now early game i feel like that's where the game's kind of falling a bit short is in the combat system now i don't know if it's falling short because of bugs um or you know stuff that they didn't intend but i do feel like the combat is not that great you know especially when you compare it to more modern day games in the same genre um i feel like the combat is quite weak now it worked for the first game you know what i mean because obviously the first game was old you know so it, it, huh? it what's going on it's that giant ah like a hurricane looks like it brought some friends too KK? You can tell. You're on to something.
They're gonna show up. I wish they just let us know in advance. We're not gonna be able to get anywhere near that. The whole area is covered in fog. It'll rip our souls clean out if we go blundering around in there. So, what are we going to do then? Simple. We cut straight through. I'll lead the way. Come on. Yeah, the, the character creator in that game. Oh my god, that shit is top tier. Like that, I, I feel like Dragon Dogma definitely set the standard when it comes to like, like that shit Can is we crazy. Really just do that? Don't worry. Rinko and the others came up with a way to do it. Just have to hope it works. Nourishment beads. Level 20, got more skill points. I think we're actually going to hold. No, you know what? Let's get this. Let's increase our wire in duration. Use it well, kid. We got a big shrine down here, too. People are getting taken away. Not on our watch. You finish them off. Uh, Superless Gamer, what's going on? How you doing? Uh, if you're just coming in, you missed probably the scariest mission we've played in this game thus far. It was uh, quite terrifying, actually. I mean, not for me. I, I, it was terrifying for chat. But I got chat through it, like I always do. I'm here for you guys.
What is that? Is that something big? Another one, guys. Uh, what did you guys think about Rise of the Ronin? I know that was another game that um, people were complaining about a bit. Now, the thing about Rise of the Ronin is uh, it being a Souls-like. Out of my way! I think it's going to be off-putting for a lot of people. Still safe more. One game that absolutely blew me away, guys, last night. Horizon Forbidden West on PC. Oh my god. This is good. It looks so good. What would I rate this game? I would probably give this game a... I mean, personally, probably like an 8. Uh, I think the combat is fun as fuck. Ooh, Is 
This game definitely has the fun factor, especially if you're like an anime lover. Best game I played recently, Bears in Space. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, guys. I really enjoyed playing that. <laughs> Yo, it was so fun. Still tracking me? actually worked. I don't know if anybody's seen that. Did you guys see that? It actually worked. Dude, you nuts. The game has been saved. What's that? That should do it. So this is one of the big shrines in the area. Yeah, I pushed everything back pretty far. The 
the basketball portion, yo, that shit, yo, I really loved the. I, w I wish there was more, man. I even told the dev, I was like, dude, I wish he was, and he said that a lot of people enjoyed that part of the game. I, I, I had a ton of fun. Head for the back. Great. More of these things. Of all the times. Can we get the power back on? Yeah. Breaker should be over past that flat. Try using spectral vision. Never know what we might find. Sorry, pal. Huh. 
Gonna find a circuit breaker. It is dark as shit in here, dude. In that room. Here we go. Take a look. That was Rinko's custom ride. Damn. But what's custom about it? Got some kind of anti-spirit tech, from what I heard. In theory, it ought to get us through the fog. How about in reality? Quiet. Give me a sec. It won't even start. Of course not. There's no gas in it. Plus, the custom turbocharger's busted. We'll need a replacement turbine wheel to get it running again. The real problem's the fragrant underworld oil. The... what? This is no ordinary bike. It's got the power to cut right through that fog. But to do that, it needs special oil from the other side. And we're fresh out. Okay. So how do we get some? Dunno. Yeah, you big help. <laughs> if you don't know, then what are we supposed to do? Talk to Rinko. Get that. That someone's gonna force their help on us. I didn't have all day to wait for you to pick up, so I rigged this phone to ring periodically and play back a recording. No need to talk, just listen to my instructions. That voice. It's Ed. You're in the garage, which means you're trying to use Rinko's motorbike. And now, you don't know where to find the necessary fragrant underworld oil. I've told you before, KK, but I'm sure you'll have forgotten, am I right? Smart guy. Kiss my ass. You can find the oil in places where the underworld's interference is especially potent. Anywhere you can see it spilling over into our world. This should be readily apparent. Now get searching. Signing off. What kind of information is that, dude? I could have guessed that. Any idea where to look? Not yet. Let's find a good vantage point to scope out the area. Around here, best bet might be the Mitake real estate building. So it's not far from here. So we're already synergy level 20. I think 23 is where we unlock this, whatever this is. I don't know. It looks like there's flame. Mixed with, I don't know what this is. Whatever it is, it looks cool. Um, do you know what this game reminded me of, Chucha? I wanted to ask you guys, uh, the magic style in this game. Well, there was another game that just came out oh, a few months ago. And it was a first person game like this. And it had like the hand magic. Uh, it was like Avier or Avia. It had to start with an A. Does anybody know what I'm talking about?
Avalon or something like that. I don't know. But I was wondering if that game was any good too. No, I, I don't think it was about I think it was like, I don't I don't remember. I, maybe it was I don't I don't remember the name of the game, but it was, I remember it was a first person like game that just came back uh literally it just came out within the past like I don't know, 3 to 4 months maybe. And I know they did like I remember they they had the hand magic. It was like um you're playing as like mages or something, but they did like weaving kind of Avium, maybe if that's it right there, Avium. I'd, I'd have to look it up. Let me see. Immortals of Avium, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's it. Is that game any good? Uh, it came out in August. Oh, so a lot, a lot longer than three to four months. <laughs> I thought, I thought it just came out a few months ago. Immortals of Avium, or, or yeah, whatever. Haven't played it. That's how time works when you have. Yo, you're not lying, Hall. <laughs> All right, guys, but we're gonna end this episode here. Um, I got, I got a lot of stuff I want to do today um so we're gonna be ending this here be firing up a couple other things just messing around and uh yeah hopefully i'll see a bunch of you guys over there so again remember if you guys are enjoying us smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing and uh yeah like i said give me a few minutes i'm gonna go talk to the, the workers make sure everything's good and then we'll be doing some more stuff so i love you all i'm also gonna eat a sandwich because i'm fucking starving uh but i love you all and if i don't see you guys later you have a great rest of your day for everybody else i'll see you in the next one peace